Persing's correlation is the statistical analysis that measures the strength and direction of the relationship between two variables. It is denoted by small letter r. The correlation coefficient lies between minus 1 for a negative correlation and plus 1 for a positive correlation, with a midpoint correlation of 0 where no correlation exists between the variables. This expression is synonymous with the Gaussian surface, which typically makes correlation analysis a two-tailed test. In this case, the closer the correlation is to either the minus 1 or the plus 1, the stronger the relationship between the variables. However, correlation analysis will be one tailed test if you are only interested in the direction of the relationship, that is, whether the correlation is positive direction or negative direction. Persons' correlation indices can be perfect correlation, in which case, all the points showing relationship between the variables fall exactly along the fitted line, or strong correlation, in which case all the points are relatively along the fitted line, or moderate correlation, in which case the points are scattered around the fitted line. Correlation analysis can be calculated by hand or by use of statistical software such as SPSS, Statistica, or arrow package among others. It is significantly important that you have a comprehensive knowledge of how to perform statistical analysis by hand so that you have a full understanding of what goes on behind the software application. In this video, I'll be showing you how to perform persons correlation analysis. My name is Titokan and this is Titokan Mac Solutions a YouTube channel for improving the knowledge of how to do things. For Pearson's correlation to be conducted, there are a few conditions that must be met by the variables. The two variables must be quantitative on scale level, that is, they must be continuous variables. The two variables should be normally distributed. There should be no outliers in any of the variables. The relationship between the two variables must be linear. Data must be paired samples, variables must be independent observations, and data must be randomly sampled. If any of these conditions is violated, you cannot perform persons correlation analysis. So whether you are using hand or software to calculate the correlation, these conditions must be met. When your data satisfies these conditions, the next step is to state the hypothesis for the correlation. For no hypothesis, it states that there is no relationship between the variables in the overall population, that is, R is equals to zero. While for alternate hypothesis, it states that there is a relationship between the variables in the overall population, that is, R is not equal to zero. Now, the next step is to calculate the person's correlation coefficient, and you can do this either by hand or by use of software. If you wish to calculate the correlation by hand, this is the best formula to use for person's correlation coefficient, where R is the person's correlation, N is number of observations or size of data, and X and Y are your variables. Please note that some octors also use this formula to calculate correlation coefficient and get same result. However, for stability and in the interest of this tutorial, I will stick to this first formula whose calculation is more stable. This means you have to expand the columns of your table of data to include xy, x squared, and y squared in order to satisfy the correlation formula. Then perform the necessary multiplications of the variables to fill the extra column and thereafter sum up each column to obtain the required sigma summations. Then substitute values of these summations into the formula as appropriate and solve for R, which is the piercing correlation coefficient. Please see my next video to see how I calculated piercing's correlation coefficient by hand using this table of data. If you wish to use software, 
you don't need to use any equation or formula as all the necessary equations and formula are available inside the software. What you are required to do in using software is just to click on the buttons or give command in the language understood by the software program and results of the correlation coefficient is calculated and produced sometimes with the necessary interpretations. So, when you calculate person's correlation by hand, you will need to test the significance of the correlation to help decide whether the calculated person's correlation coefficient is statistically significantly different than zero or not, so as to reject or accept the null hypothesis. But when you use software to perform this correlation analysis, the software would automatically perform the test of significance using appropriate test of statistics to give you the result. Some software even give you the interpretation which you are required to do yourself when you calculate person's correlation by hand. The best test of statistics option for person's correlation would be t-test since only two variables are involved. The statistical function for calculating the t-test is given as this, where t is equal to the t-test with value referred to as t-value, arrow is equal to person's correlation, df is equal to degrees of freedom, which is given as n minus 2, where n is the number of observations or size of data. After you have done the t-test, you will need to compare the result of the t-test or t-value with the critical value obtained from the t-distribution table at the same degrees of freedom and significance level. The outcome of this comparison will help decide whether the correlation is statistically significant or not. But there are two conditions that can help you to make this decision. If the t value is greater than the critical value, then reject the null hypothesis because arrow is not equal to zero. As if t value is less than the critical value, then accept the null hypothesis because arrow is equal to zero. Now, in a simple interpretation, if the t value is greater than the critical value, it means the correlation is statistically significantly different than zero, and that is, arrow is not equal to zero. This therefore implies that we will reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternate hypothesis because there is a relationship between the variables. On the other hand, if the t value is less than the critical value, it means the correlation is not statistically significantly different than zero, and that is arrow is equal to zero. This therefore implies that we will accept the null hypothesis and reject the alternate hypothesis because there is no relationship between the variables. Now, this is how you are expected to present the final result. In presenting the final result, Elements such as value of the person's correlation R and the coefficient of determination in percentage must be stated at the applied degrees of freedom and significance level. The variance explained or not explained must equally be stated. In person's correlation analysis, it is statistically inappropriate to say the outcome of one variable is caused by the outcome of the second variable or vis-a-vis. -vis. However, for practical example of how to present correlation results, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, t 2 Max Solutions, for free to see it in my next video. Subscription is free. Now we have come to the end of this tutorial, and thanks for staying with me to this moment. If you like this video or the content, and you want to see more videos like this, Please give it a thumbs up to like it, share it, and please remember to subscribe for more notifications. Once again, subscription is free. Thanks, and I see you again in my next video.